What's up? Nerd for Genius Day here. This is going to be a real short video. Um, recently, Exos Heroes or Line Games put out a notice. Apparently, they were getting a lot of feedback saying that matches were taking way too long in PvP, especially in Challenger Plus, Challenger 1 Plus, you know. And they came to the conclusion that the cause of this was the Dragon Knight uh, Fate Core Heroes versus Dragon Knight Fate Core Heroes. Go figure. Um, and unfortunately, if you come down here, their only fix, quote unquote, or the only change that they're going to be doing is to make it so that um, Wrath does not proc Dragon Blood. Unfortunately, whoever translated this isn't a native English speaker, I don't believe, so it sounds a bit off. It says, we will modify that the Dragon Blood is not stacked by Wrath among the passive skill of Dragon Emperor's Knight. Of Dragon Emperor's Knight. Yeah. Um, but anyway, what I gather from that is that, for example, FC Zeon attacks FC Yana. She will then wrath him back, but it will not give him a stack of Dragon Blood. Right, so basically all they did here was eliminate one way that the Dragon Blood passive will be procced. That's it. Um, I think they missed the mark by quite a quite a long ways um i think you'll still get into those matches where you can't kill them they can't kill you you're in this infinite loop and you end up quitting right that's never a fun way to end pvp and i think more importantly is that not only do matches take a long time a lot of the time but it's that the meta is so heavily influenced by these heroes i mean the any gacha game, right, there's always that one unit or those two units that are really, really, really strong, right? They're overpowered, like Arbiter, Villager, and Epic Seven. But to this extent, not so much, right? Like in PvP, you can't use AoE. You kill yourself and you give them a shield. You can't use dots. You just give them a shield that you can't break. Um, I feel like they really need to take another look at these passives, especially Dragon Blood, um, and rebalance them better, especially at least for PvP, right? When it comes to PvE, if it wasn't for these heroes, we would be still stuck in the story, right? It would have taken us so much longer to progress PvE-wise if it wasn't for these heroes, but for PvP, right, it's already stale. Right? The meta is already stale and the game's already been out, only been out for a couple weeks. Honestly, it was stale from the very beginning because of these guys. Um, so I, I really hope that even after these changes, people still give them feedback and let them know that they really have to do something about this. Right? This, this is not the answer. Just making it so that Wrath doesn't proc um, Dragon Blood. That doesn't really do anything. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to give my, uh, my thoughts on this and let you guys know. Anyway, I'm out. Peace.